Hello everyone, welcome to Madlia. In this video, we are going to develop Python program for XOR get perceptron as we have already developed perceptron logic in previous video. Before moving, let's take a look on different approaches to develop XOR get perceptron on Google. I found that there are two approaches to develop this perceptron. In first approach, they used the AND or NOT perceptron in first layer and then AND perceptron to get the output. As you can see here, this is the equation for the logic and the layers of perceptron developed as per the equation. All the inputs and outputs based on the logic only. In second approach, XOR get perceptron is developed by traditional logic that already we know A X or B is always equal to A dash B plus A B dash which is achieved by the truth table. Perceptron layers are designed to fulfill this equation. Again, here also same traditional logic is used to develop the perceptron. And these are the two approaches. But we are going to develop the XOR gate by using multilayer perceptron. The use of hidden layer will be discussed in a moment. But before that, let's understand our perceptron approach. Based on truth table for XOR gate, we can develop simple perceptron using activation function as summation is not equal to 10 for output 1 else 0. But the approach I have developed is by changing the input case 0, 1 to 1, 0. This will lead to the logic that if input 1, 0 then output 1 and for all other input cases like 0, 0 or 1, 1 output will be 0. Now if we develop a simple perceptron with activation function as summation is greater than 0 then return 1 else return 0 we can get our expected output. The important part is to convert the input case to modify input which is done by using hidden layer and bias values. In this way we will get XOR get perceptron based on modified input. Now let's start developing the python program. First we will develop activation function which will get two parameters summation and threshold. If summation is greater than threshold then return 1 else return 0. Let's start developing perceptron function now. We will develop this function based on perceptron we have developed just now. Take input a comma b and original output as y. Take all XOR gate cases like 0 comma 0, 0 comma 1, 1 comma 0 and finally 1 comma 1 which will lead to output 0. Set threshold value to 0 as we discussed. Now set weights w1, w1, w2 as 10, 10 for original inputs. HW and HP stands for hidden layer weights and bias value provided to the hidden layer. Now next part is to set the loop for all four input cases and calling the perceptron function. HS, HX1 summation value is calculated using first input into weight plus a second input multiplied by respective weights and finally adding bias value. Now we will get the hidden layer node output based on the activation function. Similarly HX2 is calculated. Let's try executing this program and checking whether our inputs are converted to the modified input or not. We have simply added a printf statement or print statement in python to check the modified input. After execution of program you can see that our input case 0, 0,1 is converted to 1,0. Here you are seeing that 0, 0,1 is converted to 1,0 as per the modified input and all other cases remain same. Now we just have to develop a simple perceptron based on hidden layer by calculating summation value and passing it to the activation function. Now only part remaining is to testing our logic. Let's execute the program and after execution we are getting expected output for all input for of XOR gate. And finally we have successfully developed simple XOR gate perceptron with hidden layer. So that's it for the today's video. We will meet in the next video with XOR gate perceptron. Thank you for watching this video.